Hey everyone, it's Angela Irene with Aged Goodness. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thrift Haul Monday is back. We have some great items. You're gonna maybe see a theme. I don't know, maybe kind of Groundhog Day, maybe Deja Vu, eh, I don't know. You be the judge. All right, let's start with something kind of fun. I know, look here, another purse. I know, I can't help it. The same estate is out again and they just keep bringing out new things. So I did end up with, well, maybe a few. All right, this one is by Gal. Still has the tags on it. It was originally $40 in the store. These folks picked it up obviously at TJ Maxx for $14.99. I paid $3. They raised the rates just a little bit. So yeah, it was all right. But it's brand new, still has all the packing you know, paper in it. So that was cool. We really like that. I think Lauren's going to end up with it. She's already, you know, eyeballing it. Okay. This one is by Baby Fat. I love this red design. This is fabulous. Um, this, look at this interior. Look at this pop of color. Loving it. So we'll see. She may end up with this one too, but I have plans for this one secret plans that are really becoming not so secret, but we're working on it. Okay, I think the find really uh, was this one. And it's a Dooney and Burke. And it only has one slight issue right here. So this little teeny, teeny sting. So I am going to see about uh, either myself taking care of it. I went on their website and found the instructions, or I may take it to my dry cleaner and see what they can do. But the inside is beautiful. It's a great looking purse for $3, a Dooney and Burke. That was coming home. Come on. Come on. Okay, we did find something for my husband. It is a repo, but we like to have canteens in the car in case something happens. If we go on, you know, a spontaneous hiking trip, not so much anymore, but we still, you know, have our stuff ready to go in case anything happens. So it was you know, it was worth a dollar to come home. Okay. I didn't show this last week. I totally forgot. I would just completely spaced it like an airhead last week. Look what I found. I, you know, I'm a sucker for sewing stuff. And this was on the $3 table. And it's, you know what was so funny in here? For whatever reason, this gal typed up, mm, this is really old, her dietary restrictions and, a, well, basically a little diet, and it all had to be cooked. Fruit, everything. Just, it's kind of weird. But the inside is really nice. The drawer is still all intact. And there's a few older pieces in here. So for $3.00 that was certainly coming home. So that was from last week. Okay. Clearly she had sewing stuff going on because we picked up, this is buttons and things, and this was out of New Jersey. So for this whole little container of buttons, I don't know if there's anything like spectacular in here. I mean, it was a dollar, but for a dollar? Come on, it was coming home. Okay, so we ended up with that. And then, you know me and cooking. I mean, last week it was cookbooks. This week it's stainless steel measuring cups. These look brand new. They're by Amco, but they're stainless steel. They're all here, loving them. So they're going, you know, right into, into the workforce here. Um, all right, so I grabbed this because it was on the dollar table and it is a collector spoon and when we got home uh, it's not really belonging in this case so eh. but it is still um, something that we really enjoy doing for a long time was gold panning and this is from one of the campsites that you could go and you pay an exorbitant amount of money and you get to do that whole kind of niner, 49er thing or um, kind of retreat thing. And it's really expensive. And the spoon is from there. So, of course, we're going to go ahead and keep that too. And I'm a sucker for these. And look here. Here we go. 
Uh, these say Salz and Pfeffer, so these are from Germany. So clearly these people were worldly travelers. These are adorable. Loving these. These have to go with the Disneyland ones. These are Universal Studios, and they have Jaws on them, my favorite movie of all time. Come on. Who doesn't love Jaws? Look at these birds. Look at these cute little birds, and they are from Alaska, and they are just the cutest little things ever. Okay, again, we're, we're traveling. These are French Quarter New Orleans salt and pepper shakers. Look at these. I'm loving these. I'm really going to have a hard time with these. Just letting them go away. Okay. I'm going to venture to say these are either from Alaska or from Washington. Um, very cool ceramic whale tail salt and pepper shakers. They are not signed, um, which was really surprising. But there looks like there was somewhere that that sticker went. Uh, so we may never know who made these. But come on. They're awesome. Okay, and... Look at these. We're California folks. Who doesn't love San Francisco? Golden Gate Bridge salt and pepper shakers. Look at them. They're awesome. Loving these too. All of the salt and pepper shakers, they were a dollar. So, you know, kind of deja vu. We kind of had the same kind of thing going on. Except this last thing. All right, here we go. I'll show you the big reveal. And then this happened. And thank goodness my husband loves me a lot. Okay. Look what I found. Look at it. Look at the crystals. Look at this glass. Look at how cool the bottom is in shape. Look at this. Look. Isn't it fabulous? But, but wait. You know, if you send the extra shipping and handling, you get the second one for free. Look at it. Also the crystals. I know. I can't help myself. So, yeah, that happened. Okay, so that was our haul for this week. And I'm really lucky that my husband is still speaking to me because, well, you know, it's just two more big lamps. But, you know. Anyway, thank you for joining us again. We really appreciate you spending time with us. Thank you so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Don't forget to hit the bell, and please share if you can. Thank you so much. Until next time, we'll see you soon.